let me take you to my other studio here, which has a lot more information. All right, so I'll, I'll just do this really quick so I can show you all what clips are, but it's the same situation here. This is just the one where I have guests and we go in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just press record once more and then show you kind of what Clips does. Clips is another new feature that Riverside just released a couple weeks ago, to be honest, but it allows you to mark the area. So if I said something really interesting or there was a key point that my guest said and I wanted to make sure that I um, had that mark, I can just mark the clip right there and it's saying it creates a marker for me so that I can go back and find that exact clip to create short videos or short audio clips to post to social media instead of having to navigate through it the long way through traditional mediums, okay? So I can say add another marker right there. So we can see what that looks like in a moment. So I just stopped the recording. Remember once again, um, if I were to leave the call, they would just need me to keep the browser open and all of that stuff would, you know, upload eventually. Okay, so here are my recordings. I, I have a bad habit of not naming all my recordings, but the good thing is that I can see the individuals and, and that's great too. So I know exactly who I'm speaking with. So let's go to, um, let's see here. We'll use, we'll use Mechel. All right. Um, Mikkel, <laughs> we'll use Mikkel. All right. So here is my untitled recording, but I know it's with Mikkel and we have the opportunity to see the full recording. Okay. So let, let me take you all in there. So here's the full recording. And we can just see what's going on in this one. The other recording was a lot longer, but this is a full recording. If you wanted to create a clip, you can create a clip. And this is where more of the magic happens that you can do from the platform, which is awesome. So you can pick your tracks. Okay. So here is where you can say, eh, I just want to see her, or I just want to see me. This is where you can put the person who you want um, to prioritize in a particular area. So if I said I was one and Mikkel was zero, it would switch it. I typically like to be on the other side. I don't know why, but I feel like that's just the place where I should be as the host. But either way, we have that. You can change your order. Um, you can have your layout, okay? So your layout can be different whether you want a little border or not. You can also change if you want to have the person speaking, like the person who is speaking has the whole screen at one time, or you can change it to where it's a situation to where you have whoever is speaking is larger and the other person or persons are smaller. Um, and then this is another situation where you have the person who's speaking is larger than everybody else who are your guests are on the side. Okay. When I do this, I like to have the grid. So this is the grid and this is the full frame. Okay. Um, you can keep that excuse me, you can keep the aspect ratio. So if you record it in landscape and, and you want to keep it that way or, or whether you like it this way, you have that option as well. You also have the options for rounded corners. I like the rounded corners. So I usually do that. You can change your background depending on, I believe, the package that you sign up for. Some of these features may or may not be available to you, but um, you have the opportunity to upload to upload your custom background if you have that already for you. So this gives you opportunity to troubleshoot a lot of the editing right from Riverside, which is great. Um, and you can also add your logo, which I believe you have the opportunity to add it, you know, somewhere on the page. And then, so great thing about clips, like I said before, I can take this here and just say, I just want this part, which is another thing that I showed you before, that if we were in the, the one where it had the markers, it would say, okay, you mark this one. So I can go back to that exact place and drag these here and export that specific thing. So when it exports, it will create these clips okay so these are drafted ones so these are ones that I have extracted uh, prior to in this here and so you can see all of the clips that you created before and go and download that specific one okay um, another cool thing they've added is started to do some snapshots uh, I wish I can control where the snapshots are so I can at least smile but you know they, they capture a couple of funny moments here and there that you can post directly to social media from your conversation and here is another place where you can download as well you can do the wave mp4 or constant frame rate you can just download this um individually if you are using a editing software to do something different like that and you just needed the raw files without any um, assistance so instead of grabbing this full recording here you just grab this and edit it however you want okay um 
think I, yeah, I showed you all this and go to editor. Those are some of the awesome things you can do. And once again, you can just add more clips, more clips, more clips, or just, you know, edit how you like. Let's see what this settings are. Similar things that I showed you in the last, yeah, in the last, um, studio. But, okay, so we'll go back to all recordings. This is the one we just did together, remember? Okay, so everything has kind of been uploaded. So we see that this is a full recording once again. This is the clips. Okay, remember the clips that I was telling you about where I drafted and I marked it? This is These are the markers right here. So this is a full clip. I said, okay, cool. I marked it at this first place. I only need this much material. You can also play it so you can see. Okay, you can play it to make sure that's exactly what you want and then you can export it. All right, so when you export, you can say what the quality is, you can normalize the levels, remove the background noise, and then export it. Okay, Re prepare your clip, and then so when it's preparing your clip, it'll let you know when it's ready and you can download that as needed. All right, I believe it, it probably will show up somewhere around here where you know what's going on. There's a snapshot, look at that, um, and then the constant frame rate. All right, great. So, um, what else do we have? Okay, so yeah, some of the, um, like I was telling you before about um, the different packages, I believe one of the higher packages has the opportunity for you to transcribe. So it will literally take all of the the, the conversation and have it transcribed for you to have the, the verbiage to be able to do captions and, and things of that nature, maybe create a blog post. So you have that. So I wanted to share with you all a, a, a snippet of some of the, the live broadcasts. Some of you might have been asking what it kind of looks like. So this is one I thought I did months ago, um, just so you can see like the quality of it. So this is just one where I was recording my screen um, and going live. So it looks pretty good. I believe it's still, oh, I have, they have different ones now, which is great. Okay, but this is what it can look like. Um, also, when I've gone live recording my podcast session, this is an example of what it's looked like, what the quality looks like. So I think it's it's more than enough to, to get your point across to share with your audience. It's pretty clear as long as you have a strong Internet connection, um, you should be good to go.